We are back at it again here with another video with the Invest for tomorrow. To the first time viewers and investors, welcome to the channel. To all subscribers, welcome back. I'll ask for returns for you guys to smash that like button. And here we are with BBBY, Bed Bath and Beyond Inc. And the stock had an explosive move to the upside. We've been covering why the stock jumped up back on August 24th. Had to do with the FUD uncertainty and doubt behind BBBY of it going bankrupt. It was sitting within this channel fighting through the supports and resistance and it broke out above it and we need to talk about key levels here based off 42 vision our inflow versus outflow indicator and everything going on within the charts but before we do i want to share with you guys the home and opportunity i mentioned this morning over at the discord and as you see popping up on the screen here these are some of the home runs i managed to find last week and as they're not guaranteed to be this way every single time we strive for opportunities like these every single day so the home run of the day was spectacular and beyond expectations. And if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market, check out the link down below in the description to the Discord. And by joining, you'll become part of a growing community of investors, all looking to learn and grow together. So these are the two stocks I mentioned this morning. Both of them gave jumps at 3 to 5%, 5 to 10% plus. But one of them turned out to be a home run, and that was ASTR. And we caught this one in the pre-market under a bull indicator. Inflows got crossed continuation of strength here on 42 vision and hit a highest point of 20 percent plus within minutes guys if you guys want to know about these stocks early on in the pre-market check out the link down below in the description to the discord we look forward to having you join us and we strive for opportunities like these every single day let's jump into these charts so here we are with BBBY, Bed Bath & Beyond Inc. having an explosive move to the upside, breaking through key resistance levels, and we need to break down what the charts are showing. I'm going to pull up the Bull & Bear indicators, which you can now gain access to as well. The link is down below in the description to the 42 Vision indicator, getting connected to our SPY bot, QQQ bot, newly released Tesla bot, and we have other bots on the way so that you can receive the clarity and edge that you deserve within the volatility of the markets to maximize on opportunities whether stocks are going up or going down and you can now join the members using these resources to maximize in either direction by receiving this clarity and edge over the charts and in today's video i'm going to pull up the inflow versus outflow indicator which adds that extra layer of confirmation and gives us that edge within the volatility so here we are with bbby it's been under a bull indicator here since august 25th things were sitting kind of sideways having its pops back up towards $11, $12, but it was having trouble breaking out towards $12.50 and above that, right? It kept rejecting at around $12 and $11 and some change. Now, the inflow started to pick up here with that bull indicator. The previous inflows were weak, right? Didn't have a bull indicator with it. You could see it was under a bear indicator there, but this bull indicator popped up, crossed those inflows, they held, and we were looking for them to push away from the midpoint. And here we got it, right? Sitting sideways, pulled away from the midpoint, inflows picked up, bull indicator, and full strength on 42 vision. And as you see it here, it found support at around $11, and it took off to highs today of $14.86. Now, within the volatility, it's pulling back, but it will be important for inflows to stay above the midpoint. And we need to see, is this the setup for the next bull run? Or was this the squeeze that a lot of investors were anticipating? Now, within this pullback, it just dropped to 1275 and it's popping back up towards the 13s. We need to look at not just the 30 minute now, but bigger time frames. If you look at the smaller time frames, you could see within the volatility, it's turning back around. It had a bear indicator this morning. And then it got a bull indicator here at around 11.29. Those inflows had crossed. They pulled away from the midpoint. And things went up from strength here from $11.30 to $14.86. And right now we're slightly pulling back as the outflows are starting to dominate. But they have not crossed the midpoint. That's the one reason why the whole entire chart has not collapsed. Until those outflows start to dominate, it will make an impact here, right? But right now it's pulling back. You can see those outflows and it's going to be very important for it to stay above the midpoint on the 15 minute within the volatility. And it is our first dark green with red borders. This is important to watch as it continues to shift. And if it goes into red and it crosses that midpoint, this could actually go ahead and pour over into the 30 minute, right? Because when we look at the 30 minute, 
it is not at this point of weakness, right? Let's go back to the 30 minute. You could see the inflows are still dominating, but they have slowed down. So on the 15 minute, things are pulling downwards. They have not crossed the midpoint. And on the 30 minute, it has slowed down. It's going to be very important for it to hold itself up here. I'm going to be watching for that. And then also on the bigger picture, guys, the four hour, we've been talking about this. They were sitting at red with red with green borders. The inflows were starting to pick up. I always stated, we don't need it to cross the midpoint just yet. We just need this to start moving upwards. And it began last week on Friday at the pre-market and through the trading day. Today, it has actually broken through the midpoint as you see there. It's going straight up and it's going to be very important to watch this as it continues to shift. The bear indicator needs to get canceled out though, right? It's still there. I'm going to be watching for that going into tomorrow and the rest of this week. We just got our dark green bars and if it could continue and get a bull indicator in the process of the possible move and continue to move further away from the midpoint here with these inflows starting to dominate as they already started here, you could see the move that happened from $10 to $14, nearly a 40% plus move. But then also we want to see bright green bars, not exactly the move like this is going to be guaranteed, but we want to see these bright green bars that bull indicator and continuation of strength here like it did here of these inflows here as we are right now we have that to kind of measure what's going on but things have began and we need to see if these inflows can hold up was this the move or is it just beginning guys i'm going to be watching that here on the four hour we do need this bear indicator to get canceled out if not it will continue to dominate within the volatility and the one hour same thing hit those inflows, they pulled away from it above the midpoint, and here we are with full strength. And this has all been under a bull indicator since the 24th and 25th, as you see on different time frames and on the charts, guys. Big moves today, spectacular run here. I look forward to seeing your thoughts down below. Do you think it's over or just beginning? But ever since that news came up, and you're gonna see it here on the screen, talking about that they actually scored a financing deal, right? It changed everything. It changed the whole perspective. It took away the FUD that made things go as low as it did. And also bankruptcy never sounds so great, no matter what stock it is, whether it's a meme stock, penny stock, or large cap stock, or mid cap, whatever size the company is, bankruptcy never sounds good. But here we are going into the after hours, the outflows are beginning. But as long as it stays above this midpoint on the 30 minute, it could signify some strength and it could continue a staircase effect if these inflows continue to dominate, not just on the 30 minute, but we want to see it on the four hour and also the one hour. And on the 15 minute, we definitely want this to stay above the midpoint. I mean, these outflows are coming down fast. Sometimes you could state, you know what, somebody's taking profits or somebody's trying to reshort up here. Something's going on, but there's still strength in the bigger picture from this move from $10 all the way up to 13 as it's closing. But outflows are starting to dominate really fast. But tomorrow will be very interesting. We want to see this stay above 1250 and the resistance is 1486 and breaking above that will be $15, guys. As always, guys, thank you guys so much for watching and let's make some money.